In this video we're going to show how to add a glass or cable panel to your stair railings. Here we are in Chief Architect and I already have a plan pulled up that has a set of stairs in it. And before we start modifying these stair rail panels I wanted to share a useful tip for adding walls and forming rooms underneath stairs. If we get into our 3D view you'll notice that we have some walls cut underneath our stairs forming a small room. And if we get back into our floor plan, you'll notice how we're able to see these walls in the floor plan, even though they're underneath the stairs. The reason we're able to see these walls underneath our stairs is because the fill of these stairs and landing has a set transparency, allowing me to see through them. Let's take a look at this. So I'm going to hold control on my keyboard, select our first stair section, select our landing, and select our second stair section. And then in the bottom left hand corner, I'm going to press open object and I'm going to go to the fill style and right there you'll notice that I have the transparency set to 50 percent. You can increase or decrease the transparency of your stairs depending on how much detail you want to see through your stairs which can make it easier to modify the position of your walls or add rooms. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this and get back into our 3D view to modify the stair rail panels. The first step to modifying your stair rail panel is to open up your staircase specification dialog box. Because this staircase is an L shape, which a dedicated feature was introduced in version X9, you'll also notice that there's a U shaped staircase feature as well. We can just select on one stair unit and open it up, and we'll have opened it up for the entire staircase. So I'm going to select this bottom stair section, and then click Open Object in the bottom left hand corner, and you'll see that I have both stair sections selected. On the left hand side of this dialog box we have different panels for controlling the design of these stairs and the panel that we're going to select first is this railing panel. Under this panel is where we can control the style of our stair rail body. You can see that right now we're using our traditional balusters but if I wanted to change it to a panel I would just select panel and we can get into our standard 3D preview to get a better look at what that's going to look like. And let's go ahead and make this box a little bit bigger. Underneath the Newels and Balusters option on the left hand side of the screen, we can specify what type of object we're going to be using within this area underneath our stairs. We just switched from our balusters to our panels and here you can specify the thickness of that panel and you can change it from just a solid material like we have here to a different library object. Let's go ahead and modify this to the proper thickness to our glass, so maybe a half an inch or so. And pressing tab that will update. And then I'm going to change the material from this wood material to a glass material by going to materials on the left hand side of the screen, finding our panel right here, pressing select material. And then I'm just going to type in glass to bring up the glass materials available in the program. And I'm just going to scroll down a little bit and select our tempered glass and press OK. And then you'll see that update in our 3D preview. And if we press OK, you'll notice how that updates within our plan. So that's going to be how you switch from having your traditional balusters underneath your stair rail to having a glass panel. Now if you wanted to have cables running up and down your stairs underneath the stair rail, there's a couple ways you can do that. First let's select the stair section and open the object. And then we're going to go to the newels and balusters option on the left hand side. And under panels we're going to go to type and then select library. And then we're just going to type in cable. And there's a cable rail style available under the core catalog, so we're just going to select that, and press OK, press OK again, and you can see how that updated within our plan. Let's go ahead and press undo and look at the second way you can add those cable rails to the staircase. And the second way we're going to do it is by applying it directly from the library browser. So we're going to open up the library browser, and then I'm going to go to the core catalogs and locate that cable railing. and then I'm going to select it and then just apply it directly in place of our glass rail panel. So notice that once I hover over that rail panel we can just click once and replace it on either section of the stairs independently. And this feature to paint library items associated with an object became available in X9 and you can paint objects such as railing panels, newels, balusters, handrails and more. If you're new to Chief Architect software or you're using an older version of Chief Architect and you want to evaluate the new features in the current version, feel free to download a free trial at chiefarchitect.com.